Hey guys, it's G. Let's create this electric looking lacing effect using a cell activator and manipulating it with the layer directly below it. So in this bloom technique, we're gonna start off with some pillow paint. This is Lochine house paint. I've added some pouring medium just to get it to flow. And I'm gonna even the paint around on the little coaster just to get, because circular spin on a uh, square shaped canvas, it's very tough to get even spin of the paint if you're not centered properly. So a good trick to get an even spin is to push the paint over the edge, not directly up against the edge, all the way over the edge so that it can actually, so that it can drain itself, so to speak. Then as you begin to spin, it should hopefully evenly spread the paint around. So I'm thinking I'm gonna add uh, black as the first color. Uh, it will give us some nice contrast and I haven't used black in my blooms very often outside of the cell activate. So I'm using Arteza's Mars Black and I'm gonna also use a couple of metallic colors. First I'll use the gold and then follow it up with a wine, a red wine metallic also from Arteza. Now to get that interesting like lightning looking effect you're gonna want to use a white cell activator and use an opaque color directly below it that will supplement this image of lightning so it could be yellow it could be blue i'm going for neon blue and neon blue is the only neon color in Arteza's um premix paints that's actually fully opaque so it'll carry the cell activator nicely and the blue and white will contrast it'll have a very striking contrast against the black and the metallic colors so we'll start to blow out the cell activator we're seeing an instant reaction the cell activator is dealer Rowney white uh, titanium white and the new pouring medium I got recently from Artbox Supplies. If you're in Egypt, you should definitely check them out. Okay, now let's break up the puddle in the middle with a smaller straw. Just so we don't have a big uh, patch of white in the middle. And usually you find the runnier the cell activator, the thinner your lacing will be. And the lacing tends to happen better with white, or so I'm told, but I get I get that lightning effect with both colors. Okay, so what you want to do is tilt a little to check that everything moves evenly before you spin. And I say that because usually the center gets stuck when you push it down. It takes it a minute or a few minutes to move. So the best way to check is to tilt and make sure everything moves homogeneously. If it doesn't, set it back down and wait a little bit. Okay. I'm just adding a little paint to that corner because there wasn't enough to let that part flow. So I'm just adding more white paint here. And then we'll go in for a spin. Okay, first spin looks good. I could spread this out a little more. But first, again, if you're no, the areas you notice um, negative space in, if you don't want negative space, that usually means there's not enough pillow paint to help the paint spread. I really need to figure out how to stabilize this uh, spinner, but in the meantime, it makes some interesting mishaps. Yeah, and there you go. Looks like lightning struck a cave or something. Let's look at that. Look at, look at how shiny the metallic paints are.
I'm a big, big fan of the Arteza Premium Experience. They react very well on side activators. Thanks for watching, guys. This was G, and I'll see you in the next video.